downtown Prescott, Arizona. We are now on Cortez Street, downtown Prescott, and this is the cell phone tower on this street. And my friend is going to be reading the microwave radiation being emitted from this tower. All right, so this is the meter we're going to be using to measure the microwave radiation coming from the cell phone tower. We're on downtown Prescott uh, at Cortez Street, about halfway up the street. So uh, this meter measures microwave radiation from 40 megahertz to 10 gigahertz range. And the units that we're going to be looking at are in microwatts per meter squared. So that basically means how much uh, energy in a uh, square meter, which is about three feet by three feet uh, of a space. So, um, and then the levels, this just gives us a rule of thumb of what levels of radiation are uh, harmful at what, you know, and how harmful they can be. And then we'll talk more about the details of that a little bit later. Okay, so we have 10 to 1,000 uh, microwatts per meter squared is considered severe as far as harmful effects on health. And then anything over a thousand is considered extreme. But as we're gonna see in a minute, the levels that this tower emits are even much higher than a thousand microwatts. Basically, we have a display at the top. It's just a little LED um, that lights up depending on what levels it's reading. And uh, don't really base it off the colors, but basically if the meter is measuring something, it's um, anything below the very lowest setting here of one, then it's, it's a problem for our health. So, um, so we're measuring quite high right now. So there's two readings on the meter itself. The most important one is on the right here, okay? Right now, and so what this is showing is 138,203 microwatts per square meter. And it's, it's constantly being updated, so it's 193 now. But the point is this reading is telling us the maximum amount of radiation that's coming off that tower, okay? And then on the left, it's just showing us the average uh, every split second, and it's changing so fast you can't really read it. So this is the important one that we wanna focus on. And then the lights just give us a general uh, sense of the maximum. And then you might be able to hear uh, the static, that's the sound of the meter, basically translating the frequencies and the pulses of the radiation to a sound so you can kind of visualize it, okay? I just printed this from uh, some research that I pulled off the internet and I'm going to explain it in a minute. So basically we have the different levels of microwave radiation and some of the research showing uh, the levels at which different health effects have been discovered. Okay, so all of these units are in the same as the meter, microwatts per square meter. Okay, and just to give you a comparison first, if we, we look at what is the amount of radiation that our body, the human body, is used to as far as what we are exposed to in nature before we had all these modern devices. So the natural microwave radiation, mostly from outer space, that we're used to is this very low reading. So that's 0 0.000001 microwatts per square meter. That's what we're used to, or that's what we've been used to historically. But now in our modern world, we have levels that are so much dramatically higher than that. So it may not seem like much, but we're actually looking at harmful effects. And some of the levels here of 500 microwatts per square meter, they found that uh, children will experience problems such as headache, irritation, concentration difficulties, and even behavioral problems at only 500 microwatts, okay? Um, and then at 10,000 microwatts per square meter, we've got uh, the human sperm DNA will fragment, meaning it'll break and a decrease in sperm viability in vitro, okay, for men. Uh, also, bodily effects for uh, adults, headaches, uh, dizziness, fatigue, insomnia, weakness, chest pain, difficulty breathing, and also indigestion. At 25,000 microwatts per square meter, um, there's cellular effects. So the, there are altered calcium metabolism in heart muscle cells. At 40,000 microwatts per square meter, there's changes in the brain hippocampus affecting memory and learning. And then at 60,000 microwatts per square meter, uh, it's been shown to cause DNA damage in cells. And these are just a few of the effects. 
There's actually a lot more, but this just gives us an overall. And so the reading you were getting off of the meter... It was today. well beyond this. So we were at several hundred thousand microwatts.